Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It and today we're going to change the front brakes on this uh, Mercedes S550. Okay, the first thing we got to do is take this wheel off. And Mercedes don't use studs and lug nuts, they use uh, these, which is kind of like a stud and lug nut all together. And they use a special socket, this one. And this is over $100 alone at the dealership. So, let's take this wheel off. I turned the wheel to the left to give me better, a better angle at accessing everything here. So the first thing you got to do, the Mercedes on the passenger side only, I don't know why they don't have it on the other side, but they have the sensor and it's a wear sensor, it's attached to this pad right here. So you need to disconnect this from, from this thing here and what you do is you just kind of try to pry, pry this up like a little plastic thing and wiggle this out okay okay we got the sensor off next thing we got to do we got these pins you just got to knock them out so we're going to use something to knock it out that way Okay, you want to get a screwdriver and put it between the pad and the rotor and carefully pry it back because you want to compress the pad against these pistons here. So, pull it back. The reason you want to do that is because you want to be able to take this out okay now you see the sensor it's attached to this okay and this comes right out but we got a new one so we don't have to do that do the same thing on the other side okay now we're changing the rotors too but if you were just going to do the brake pads you just drop in the brake pads again these have to come back more, try to pry them back more, and then the new brake pads just strap right in, and you just put the sensor back in there. But we're changing the rotors too. So the next thing we gotta do is disconnect from these two bolts here. So behind here you have two bolts. You have this one, and then you have the other one on top, okay? Those two big bolts. Okay guys, so this is the top bolt. We already did the bottom one. Put a 21 millimeter on there when you break a ball. And break that loose, okay? Then you can take your ratchet. Take it off. All right, the whole caliper is gonna come off. And you wanna lay it on something so this wire and this brake line don't get messed up, okay? The next thing we gotta do is take this rotor off and it has this little hex uh, screw here. So I got this stupid thing over here that I have. It's, I wish I had a better, better socket, but anyway, bang it in there just to get it loose. And just throw a wrench there. I got lucky with this, this is only a quarter inch, but it came right off. I'm gonna have to bang this around a little bit. Okay, I had to bang, bang this around a little bit, but it came right off. Okay, this is everything we need. We got the rotors. And these are marked front driver's side and front passenger side. And it has to do with these slits, the way they're supposed to go. You got your sensor, you got your pads, and you got your new, new hardware. So let's throw this on. Okay, before we throw these on, we're gonna clean them. With some brake clean. 
because these things come from the factory. There's some kind of oil or something just to keep it from rusting. ready to go on. Now we're gonna put the rotor on, make sure it says passenger side, and you're gonna line up this with this screw right here where you took it off. So make sure you put that on there. There you go. Put your screw back on. Now we're ready to put the caliper back on. Put this on. Okay, before you put the pads in, you just want to compress these pistons and just lightly, don't mess up the rotor, just push them in with a screwdriver. All right, it doesn't take much pressure to do this. All right, these are the old pads. As you can see, he still had a little bit of meat on him, but he was complaining about the feel. And that's the difference between the new pad and the old pad. Okay, so this pad, before we throw this in, we're gonna put the sensor on. And this sensor, if you notice, has a little bump on there. That's the, that's the part that's gonna go inside. All right, so you're gonna just put it in there like this. That's gonna go towards the pad. And that's it. All right, this is ready to be dropped in. And just slide it right in there, like that. Okay. We're gonna drop the other pad in. Okay. Okay. Now you got this little bracket. Make sure you pry this open a little bit, so you could get your wire in there after you put this on. You put this here, put your pin, make sure it goes through the brake pad, okay? Over here, through the other brake pad, okay? And through the hole there, okay? And this thing, you're gonna bang it in. Okay? And I'm just gonna use this to bang it all the way in, okay? So make sure This is fully seated. You should be able to see it from this side, okay? Same thing with the bottom. Make sure it goes through the pad, okay? Through the bottom here. Okay. Through the other pad, okay? Okay, that should be fully seated. You should be able to see these things right through, okay? Like that. Like that. Make sure they're seated so you can see them. Okay, see the other side. Okay, next thing you want to do is just plug the sensor. Okay, okay. make sure you put the wire to the sensor in this little clip like that. And let's say you're done, you just got to put the wheel back on. So, Mercedes gives you this tool because there's no studs to put the, uh, to just hang the tire on. So this gives you this little tool and you just screw it in like that. And then you could put the tire on it. So, Mercedes wanted $2,800 for 
to do the front brakes on this car. My friend got the parts for this thing for, he said 140, but I doubt it. It's probably 140 per side. But still, you're saving yourself $2,500 by doing this yourself, which is a big difference. So, uh, once we're done with this, we're gonna do the other side. I stuck out there. It doesn't want to come off. Go ahead. Keep banging it. Kick it. <laughs> Whoa! There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How much you pay for that? $154. I don't know if you can see it. $154 for the parts. Rotors, pads, all the hardware. And Mercedes want it. $2,800 to do this. No fucking real. It's actually criminal, huh? <laughs> it should be criminal, right? <laughs> but if you have six figures to pay on a car, you know. That's criminal too. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. <laughs> okay guys, that took less than 50 minutes to do that side. So about a half an hour worth of work. You can save yourself a lot of money. So I hope this helped you out. Like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.